Membrane Structure and Function Describe the structure of phospholipids and their role in cell membranes. Describe the fluid mosaic model of cell membranes. Describe how proteins fit into the cell membrane. I'm Mr. W from learn-biology.com where our mission is supporting you in your success in AP Bio. That means a four or a five on the AP Bio exam and an A in your class. Please sign up for a free trial on our website, learn-biology.com. We guarantee your success. What is the function of the cell membrane? The cell membrane separates the highly organized contents of the cell from the cell's environment. Cells are open systems. They need to let things like food in. They need to let things like wastes out. The membrane is how that's controlled. That's because the membrane is a selectively permeable boundary. It allows the passage of some substances and particles through, but not others. That selectivity is really the key to life. Describe the structure of phospholipids and their role in cell membranes. Phospholipid structure, there's a hydrophobic nonpolar tail region. Here's the structural formula. Here's a representation. There's a hydrophilic polar head. Notice that the head has this phosphate group over here with its negative charge. The whole thing is held together by this three carbon molecule called glycerol. In solution, when phospholipids are mixed with water, the heads of the phospholipids bond with water molecules while the tails form a water-free zone. So interacting, interacting with water, interacting with water, water-free zone over here. That creates a bilayer. That's the basic framework of the membrane to which proteins and other molecules are added. We'll see that further on. And the phospholipid bilayer is stabilized by weak bonds van der Waals bonds that occur between the tails. At learn-biology.com, we understand why students struggle with AP Bio. It's a hard course, but we have a plan for your success. Go to learn-biology.com, sign up for a free trial, and complete our interactive tutorials and interactive AP Bio exam reviews. We guarantee you a four or a five on the AP Bio exam. See you on learn-biology.com. Describe the fluid mosaic model of cell membranes. This model posits that the membrane is composed of phospholipids plus proteins plus cholesterol in motion. So why is it called fluid mosaic? Well, it's fluid because the components are moving around laterally within the plane of the phospholipid bilayer, which you can see here. It's a mosaic because it's composed of a variety of pieces in the same way as a mosaic tile is composed of different tiles with different colors that get put together to form the art. Within the phospholipid bilayer, you have phospholipids that are at four and nine. You have proteins that are at one, three, five, and six, and you have molecules like cholesterol, which are shown at seven. And then inside and outside the phospholipid bilayer, you might have additional molecules attached to proteins or phospholipids. And those might be glycoproteins, which are not shown, but at eight, you have a glyco lipid. Glyco means it's a carbohydrate and it's attached to these fatty acids right over here. Describe how proteins fit into the cell membrane. There are three ways that proteins can fit in. And if you think about hydrophobic, hydrophilic, what binds with what, it makes a lot of sense. So there are transmembrane proteins. That's shown over here and over here. Here, notice that beautiful alpha helix that you should remember from our unit one review. There's a hydrophobic core that fits into the nonpolar inner portion of the membrane. So these would be hydrophobic amino acids over here and over here. And there'd be hydrophilic regions that extend into the cytoplasm and the membrane exterior. There are integral proteins, such as the one at five, and these proteins would have a nonpolar region that extends into the hydrophobic membrane middle and a single hydrophilic region that juts into the cytoplasm, as this one does, or into the cell exterior. And then finally, you have peripheral proteins, like this one that's shown at three, and they attach to phospholipid heads that are either on the cytoplasmic side of the membrane or in the cell exterior. 
These terms, transmembrane, integral, peripheral, they're not important in and of themselves, but you should be able to understand the concept of how things fit into the membrane. Want to learn more? Sign up for a free trial of the website that guarantees your AP Biology success, learn-biology.com, and watch this next video.